What's up everybody? We're launching our new giveaway. Whenever we hit a thousand subscribers, one of you is gonna win a shirt, a hat, stickers, and if we have any new merch at the time, that's going in the care package as well. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, share this page to your friend, because the faster we get there, the faster we can make this happen. And to top it all off, one of our sponsors, Jason Waters Tuning, is gonna throw in a hundred dollar gift card for somebody. This applies to anything that Jason sells on jasonwaterstuning.com. It could be a tune, it could be parts, it could be merch, whatever you guys want. This is our newest shirt. I absolutely love the design. I think it came out great. We also have hats available on importoutlaws.shop, so make sure you guys check it out. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, get entered for a chance to win some Import Outlaws merch. What's up everybody? This weekend we're at Sumter Speedway running for $5,000 with the SCDRA series. This track has historically not been one of my best tracks, but I'm gonna try to make it a good weekend. Right now we're still leading the SCDRA points for 2024, so we're gonna give our best, hopefully bring home another big check. So we went out for a couple rounds of practice now. Overall, the car has been pretty good. We've been around fourth to seventh. A lot of the changes that we made have helped it a little bit on entry, but it's still not great. It just doesn't turn in how I like it. So I'm gonna get it figured out. Just a lot of trial and error here. Super bummed that we had a tire roll off in the first round of qualifying. We had a super fast car. We were actually third after that last round of qualifying. So all we can do is make the best out of it at this point. We got some work to do on the car. We're gonna get back together and get back out there again.
seems like the Sumter curse continues for us. The second round of qualifying wasn't any better. Uh, the track was a lot slower because there was a lot more moisture in it and it was just greasy slick. So we were actually two seconds off pace. I did qualify second on the second round, but our times were so far off they weren't good enough to beat yesterday's time. We're getting ready to go out for the B main now. I think I'm rolling off fifth row outside. So we got to finish top five for it and see if we can transfer into the main on the B main. <laughs> maybe third time was gonna be the charm. Turns out it wasn't. I was just kind of minding my own business down there on the bottom of the track and got cleaned out. Had to go to the rear. After that wreck in front of me, I wasn't really in a spot to where I could transfer into the main event based on position. I just pulled it off so we could save the car and fix anything that needed to be fixed on it. Probably gonna be rolling off close to 21st, 22nd in the main. Unfortunately, the reality of it is starting that far back here at Sumter probably isn't gonna put us in a good spot to win. Of course, I'm gonna go out there and give it 100%, try to bring home the win and maintain the points lead. That's all we can do at this point. Henry, am I working you to death or what? Yes, you're killing me, Ray. <laughs> Yeah. 
might give you guys a little recap of the weekend. It was our typical Sumter look, as in we didn't have any, which I'm pretty bummed about considering the car that we had. We started out Friday night kind of slow, but I was able to pick it up by the last round of practice. We were actually third fastest in that last round, so I was really looking forward to putting down a solid time for qualifying. Typically in qualifying, especially the first round when the track's usually faster, I'll try to go out there and just lay down a solid lap my first lap and then really get after it my next couple. I had such a good run coming out of turn four that I stayed in it and drove it really hard down into one and rolled the tire off. We didn't put down a time in that first round, so we had to rely on the second round of qualifying on Saturday, but the track wasn't nearly as fast as it was Friday night. We were able to go out there and qualify second on that second round, but times were so much slower because all the water on the track that we weren't able to pick up any positions. So going into the B main, we didn't really have a great starting spot, but I knew I had a fast car, so I was confident that I'd be able to get into the top five. Track position means everything at Sumter because it's pretty hard to pass there. When you're back there in traffic, you run into the risk of getting in a wreck, running hot. You know, there's a lot of things that can happen. I'm really disappointed in how the B main went. We fired off and I was just kind of minding my own business. And uh, we come out of turn four and the guy that was above me came down the track, come across my nose and it spun me and him to the inside of the track. I talked to him after the fact and I know it wasn't intentional, but disappointing nonetheless because it kind of sealed my fate for the rest of the night. We fired back off and there was a wreck right in front of me and at that point I didn't really feel like I'd be able to make my way back up into a transfer spot so I decided to pull off and take a provisional. So moving on to the feature, I knew I was going to have to be pretty aggressive starting in the back like I was but when we fired off the car just really wasn't that great and it took me a minute to get into a good rhythm. Once I did, I started moving through the field and really started to feel like we might have something that could have got me into the top five. Unfortunately, with how muddy the track was, the front of the car got covered with mud and I started running hot. And whenever that happened, it started pulling a bunch of power and busting up through the center of the corner. I ended up having to pull in and get the mud scraped off the front of the car, which meant I had to go to the tail of the field. At that point, my fate was kind of sealed. The car just wouldn't cool down after that. I was just trying to focus on making it to the end of the race and salvaging a halfway decent finish. I'm just glad we were able to make it to the end. I ended up finishing 11th, which I think was good enough to maintain the points lead, but we'll have to see when that comes out in a couple of days. Before I wrap this up, I wanna give a huge shout out to my sponsors. Big thanks to Jason Waters Tuning, Action Graphics, DAM Trucking, k &R Services, uh, Southeast Performance, Binding Tools, Trick Shop Productions, all you guys make this thing happen and I truly appreciate all of your support. It was really awesome hanging out with all the fans and signing some autographs, selling some t-shirts and hats. Thank you guys for all of the support. It truly means a lot to all of us here at Import Outlaws. We got some really cool things coming up. I have the K-Series motor in the machine shop right now. We'll be pulling the motor out of the white car and going through it to find out what happened when it blew up. We also have Cherokee coming up. We have I-75 coming up. So got a lot on the schedule. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this thing to a friend, and like always, thank you guys for watching.